Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So here we are, another fortnightly installation of our channel. We've got some whips to show, some finishes, some FFOs, um, some new starts. It's been a great two weeks. We have a lot to do. A little haul, too. Oh, yeah, a little bit of haul. I think I said that. Maybe not. Um, I'm really excited. You about said it. it at the last take. Oh. So we didn't completely start over. No technical difficulties, but we forgot to grab something, so we just stopped. We were like 30 <laughs> seconds over. in. I'm really liking this. This Lupisha today. It is. It's really good. I like this tea. Is this this one's not as it? sweet. It is the last one. Oh no. We may need some more Hawaiian tea. <laughs> We've run out completely. Where do you okay. want to start? We'll start with FFOs today. FFOs. I don't have any, of course. He's the finisher. I do have FFOs. Um, three of them are... Two of them are whips that became finishes. I FFO'd them. One was a new start that I finished. This an FFO now. And then one of them is an old um, stitching that I had completed that was just sitting in the closet. And I FFO'd it. I'm trying to make a goal of bringing some of the stuff that we finished out so they can just be fully finished and up in the house. So I will show you. you. Put a lot of work into it. They should be shown. Um, I finished the February Flower of the Month by Praiseworthy Stitches. This one was found in the Just Cross Stitch um, December or January. I don't know how they run it. Yeah. Um, or February? It's February 2020. It was the first issue this year. It'll be in the description. So. Box. That's the fully finished product. This is just a tea can um, that we had. Um, and I just put this on some mat board and a little finish behind it. And it's just hot glued onto this tea can, which in fact, there's still tea in it. <laughs> it's purposeful. Um, oh, that smelled really good. This is pomegranate. It? it looks like it. Smells like it. Must be pomegranate. <laughs> um, my second um, whip that was a finish is Miguel the Cactus. Um, this is from Fuzzy Fox Designs on Etsy. Etsy. Um, I have this little basket. I've been wanting to do this. It's not my favorite finish that I've done, but I bought this cactus, which is like, it's just a cactus in a pot that's in there. It's a fake cactus. And then I bought this little basket, and I was like, oh, I want to attach a cross stitch on, on the front. So I went through and did it. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's going to stay, and it's cute. So that's that. Adorable. FFO. Then, to get a head start, because I was behind, and I want them actually sitting out in the house, I stitched the March flower of the month and FFO'd it and it looks like that. It's in a little stand. Can you even see that it says March? It says March yes. down there. So I stitched March too far over so I added a little symbol to balance it out a little thing. Is it in the call for colors too? Because that was yeah. a new start too. Right? Yeah um everything's in the DMC called for it in the um and this is just a little stand that's like this. It hangs from a clip. I think it's cute. Um, I did it circular this time. And that's it. Um, this was the March one from Praiseworthy Stitches and Just Cross Stitch Magazine. What was I saying before I did that? I finished it in a circle and then I did this, this fabric is the white fabric with like floral motif. I'm trying to incorporate in all of them. I didn't do February's because I thought the can was cute. What was I saying though? I don't know if I said it, but in my mind, there was something I wanted to say. Oh, uh, it'll come back to me. So now I'm ahead, and March can sit out all month. 
like it. Um, my last FFO is an old stitching um, that I pulled out. Um, it's called If Cats Could Talk. It's by Designs by Lisa. Um, I recently finished an old stitching from hers as well that I showed you. It was another frame. It was, but I didn't like it, and I never put it out because I hated it. So this is how I finished it. Um, I pulled it out and finished it like this. It's this yellow fabric. I love that fabric. Um, there's no, this was a frame mm -hmm. that we got at Michael's, and I took the glass out. No, I did not take the glass out. The, um... The, the yellow thing. fabric is wrapped around the glass so it could just slide in there. And then I mounted the cross stitch piece there. It's gorgeous. And it's really pretty. And there's a little, little bird charm hanging from the cat's neck. I color converted this. So if you look up the pattern, this is not the colors that it looks like. Um, but I thought the yellow went with it very well. That's the DMC variegated, right? Here? The yeah. Oh, I can that like was long... some kind of DMC variegated. I stitched this like five years ago. Yeah. That was in Florida. It was. <laughs> it's so, made it all the way back. <laughs> those are the four things that I had to show this week. Yay. Oh my god. Oh no, I have a whip. Never mind. I have another thing to show later. <laughs> I don't have any finishes either, I don't think. Nope. On to whips we go. So, I'll go, you want to go first? You have less than me. I'll go. <clears throat> That's a new story. On Instagram, they're doing like a month-long get to know Stitcher people thing. I'm so ready for it. I'm You're just late because I've already posted day one. It's hosted <laughs> by a whole hell of a lot of people. You're supposed to tag them in there. Um, but the hashtag is... Uh, in the description box below. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> I have it. Do you know? Yeah. It's these aging moments. <laughs> it was cool though because I've been going through and reading all the people that are hashtagging it. I guess they did it last year. I don't know, but I'm doing it with them this year. It's cute. I was just shown this not too long ago and I was still primping for this, so I didn't get to do it yet, but I will do it. The hashtag is common thread stitcher, and then there's a whole bunch of people. Yes. But it's cute. Look, I did day one. <laughs> Uh, you couldn't see any of it. Going through. Who knows? She's probably playing with her. It was cute though because I went back and looked at some pictures. Today was introduce yourself. <laughs> oh Lord, that dog! <laughs> it's gonna be the death of me. So our great Dane is out now because she's too big for a crate and she does very well being out. And the Dalmatian does not. So Hudson has to stay in his crate, but he gets hers now, so he got an upgrade. It's like going from a little apartment to a house. When we go, when we go away from them, <laughs> yeah, because he can't be trusted. And they're, we're not going to leave them out out there by themselves. If you recall, he eats whole lollipops, styrofoam ones. So yeah, we don't trust him with anything. Um, so for whips, I did Epic Storybook Princesses. This was done for School of Magical Stitches. I had to do some green stitches and some blue ones. So this is where I got. I did a little tree over there. It's more than a hundred now because I wanted to finish it. And then she has his toy yes, and he wants his toy. Mad. I can hear it. <laughs> She's squeaking it right in front of him. I know she is. <laughs> She's, She's like, evil. The outside. <laughs> and then there's the little vase with the little flower. You can see a little flower petal falling down. Oh, so cute. So I stitched that. I didn't work on it much, but because I was doing some other projects Pencil. this week. <clears throat> My other one is Frida Kahlo and Black Cat. This is on Etsy. Um, it's really cool. So I'm doing this for my sister. We had to do 100 stitches in red. So I started, I only had this part done. So I did all that. I've totally fallen off the bandwagon of magical so stitches. Cool. I just, I'm trying to, I tried it, but too many prompts were coming up that were making me deviate from my yearly no. goals that I made. So okay, unless no. I can, unless I, I'm really, really trying to be strict about the goals that I set for myself. And if I want to make them all and <clears throat> it was just deviating too much so i'll join in if it fits anything that i'm stitching or plan to stitch but... i just gave up on my plans i just mm -hmm. i'll just go by the seat of my pants like everyone else does um do well so... my plans are already pretty loose <clears throat> she also has a little cat that sits on top of her hair here her flowers and then the little cat has flowers too 
So I will get that done eventually. <clears throat> That's for my sister, whenever I can get it done to her. She's like, it's fine, take your time. And then the last thing I have to show is the Bloom and Grow Sal. Bloom and Grow Sal. The Bloom and Grew. Bloom and Grew. It already grew because it's on my fabrics. <laughs> These are some big plants. Um, so this is from Caterpillar, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Words. Words today. So I finished the other one in January. Hot in here. But it is. And then I did this whole, this is the start of February over here. So it's a little bit smaller of a motif, but it, they're still sizable. I really like them. So it's coming along. And that's it for whips for me. I have one whip that I'm working on. Um, see, this was one that I started that were not, it was not in my yearly plans, but because of Magical Stitches, I uh, found a new pattern to start, which I'm happy I started it because I'm really loving it actually, but it's from the February Just Crawl Stitch magazine this year um, by Tiny Modernist. Tiny. And it was a whip, so what I've done is filled in this tree, this tree, put in the parts of the tree that will exist, the rest has snow on it, and the house. So I just had the mountains part of this tree, the bird, and this, the last time you saw it, I put in the tree, I mean the tree. I still have to finish some of the house, but... That's where I'm at so far. I'm really liking it, so I'm gonna... That fabric actually looks like a winter sky, like when it snows. I love it. That may it's or really may not be together. why I picked it. I think that's why I did. <laughs> um, so it's looking I'm good. I'm liking it. it. You I did. I did. No, you didn't. I did. I do some. That's some my only whip. Have you podcasts. shown everything? Um, it's that many start. Oh, show your mm -hmm. new start. We're going fast. It's right. twelve minutes. Oh, that's fine. Because we're not <clears> talking <throat> about anything else. It's just our stitching. We'll probably elaborate about life later. Mm -hmm. um, so this was a new start. This is from the Witchy Stitcher on Etsy. Um, I had a piece of fabric for this that I was going to use, but it was like oatmeal Ada before I dyed it, these same colors. Um, Derek liked it, I hated it. Um, so I wanted to do it. Also it was 18 count and this is 16. So here's my start. We had to do 100 stitches in black. So, well, I did a few hundred in black. And then down here, we had to do 300 extra stitches for the bonus, so I just, Went to town until I got my little bun done. <laughs> so that's cute. So it's got a little I'm so handle. excited for you to finish this because we bought the finishing fabric oh, already. Cool. Which is, I thought it was in here. I was going to show him. But you'll just have to wait till he finishes because I am excited to finish that for him. I'll show you. I'll have a finished product. I'll just show that. They can see what it looks like. Because all these projects, they're like, what does the finished product look like? Well, well most of mine, they got to see it. <laughs> Um, yes, there it is. So it's got two buns mm. instead of one, and then a candle. Is that how? Is that the cool word for bunny now? Buns. Yes. Or are you just making this up? <laughs> well, my friend, my best friend in high school, she had a, a bunny named Baby Buns and Mama Buns. So she had two, and they were really cute. I don't like, like it. Buns. I don't <laughs> like the shortened buns. But the finishing everything. fabric that I got for this is gorgeous, and it's I can't perfect. wait. I've been really good at picking out fabric. I can't finish for anything, but he I'll did. pick fabric. I'm going to do a video soon teaching him how to finish. Ooh. That's a video we have in the works. Yes, it is. I can't wait to see the mess he creates. The works. That seemed ominous. <laughs> I was really just drinking. I don't know what the few things are in the works. No, we have a, um, do we have our announcement to make? Mm -mm. Yeah, no, not yet. Mm -mm. Oh. I'm backing out of that right now because we weren't ready. We will We've be not in DC for our next video. We will. Um, so we're gonna be in a an Airbnb. Airbnb. Um, we'll be in somebody else's apartment, okay. and <laughs> we're going to we're use it as a studio. <laughs> record our video. Are there any LNSs near DC? Oh yes, comment below. Let us like know. very near, not like, I don't want to drive out of DC very like much at all. Alexandria's kind of pushing it. So yeah, yeah. there probably That's are. There's probably none right in DC. We're gonna be we'll busy. We're gonna be in DC for five days. So if you're going to the Smithsonian or the, like some of the other museums. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of the touristy there. stuff. We've done the monuments with the dogs. We're picking up something from the, have we told them what we're picking up? No. Okay, we're picking up something from the D.C. airport. airport. On March so, 16th. On March 16th. So it'll be after the video. We'll show you when we uh, do two videos from now. Yes, so you have to get on Instagram. 
to see what happens. Oh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't post it on Instagram. You oh, make... I won't be able to help myself. <laughs> um, Instagram is life. So if you really, really want to know, I really like video, Instagram too. You can follow us on Instagram. They're below. Maybe I'll give a little sneak peek in the story. See if they catch it just in time. I think that's what it'll be. It'll be like a semi surprise. I don't know what you're talking about right now. Show something. What? Oh, I have knitting. But we're going to be in DC. Yes. The 13th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. That's not right. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. We're only going to be there four days. I said five. Oh. Are we coming back on the set? We're coming back the 17th. That's why. No, we're coming back the 16th. Oh, are we? I'm gonna extend my vacation. Maybe <laughs> we're. I gotta look. Show something. Okay. So confused. I have knitting that I've done. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to hide it down there. You guys can see so much more up here. <laughs> so my sister's having her baby shower next week, so I'll be going to that in Charlotte um, for my nephew that's unborn at the moment. So for her baby shower gifts, which I'm pretty sure she's not gonna watch this video before that happens, I'm gonna show it to you. This one's on there. Look at this. A baby Yoda. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> I, I want him. You can have that one. I'm in the middle of making another one. <laughs> it's not about wanting this one. I mean, I want this one, but <laughs> I want him to put a little cup. cup. So, you know, when he's like. Ooh, you know those little pup cups from Starbucks? Can you have one of those? No. <laughs> That's just a Dixie Starbucks. cup. No, they used to have the little ones with the Starbucks symbol on them. They don't do those anymore? No. Oh, oh that sucks. We have gotten pup cups. I mean, I know they give us the big ones yeah. because we have big dogs. <laughs> like no, me. you need to knit a little bowl for him to drink I'll out of. I will knit a little bowl. I have some brown yarn somewhere. So to go with the little Yoda, I made a little baby hat. <laughs> it's so cute. It looks like it could fit my head the way it you're does, holding that. But, but it's, it's not that big. It, oh. So I, I had to research what size the baby's head this is. This is not a baby's head. <laughs> I well, can don't stretch it. So a baby, when it comes out, a newborn's average circumference of their skull is 13.75 inches. I have a big ass head, and if I wanted to pull this down, I could. You got a lot of dome back there. It's not going I down. I just also don't want to mess up my hair. So also, after the first month, they hit 15 pounds. Well, both my sister and her boyfriend, or lover, or whatever you call him, uh, they both had really large heads when they came out, so I made their little baby's hat 16 inches just in case. That is a big ass <laughs> baby head, y'all. That's my face. If anyone ever well, meets me in person, born in the pattern, and I shrank it. Well, actually, I made it like just a hair bigger, just for this him. baby ain't gonna have. He's gonna have a giant head. You watch. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not even stretching it. That's just open. Look, he'll just hold the little baby Yoda for now. How about that? I'm supposed to be looking at something. Yes, you are. Oh, by the way, Heaven Earth Designs had a Leap Day sale. Found that they out. bought two patterns. Carla being crafty. It's like what fifty something percent off. Is yeah, more we than watched 50, her today. That. Um, so we bought new ones, and which phone? I think I took the seventeenth off. I did, but we're not gonna be there the seventeenth because I took five days off from work. We did because Tuesday I had to have someone else come in to cover me. Yeah, I know I'm off the to 17th. do what I had to do. Thirteen, fourteen. So we're gonna be there four days. Look, it says stay at Independence Avenue. Hmm. So put it We're going to be on Independence Avenue and Capitol Hill. There we go. We're not going to be there St. Patrick's so Day. This is my new Heaven and Earth design. You can see that? Maybe? Yes. Um, so that is, it's called Merlin's Laboratory. It was blurry as fuck. AF. Hey. I don't want to touch, I don't wanna no, touch, touch it because it. it's going to bounce. <laughs> so anyways, it's really cute. I really like it. So I'll start that eventually. I was really tired of stitching on my Heaven Nurse that have like so much background. Like I love Show them. Show mine. But, um, Is it not just, on your phone? Um, it's by... I sent it to you. Amy. Who knows? Amy who? Um, I don't need that. Just Oh, whatever. I'll show you when I start it. Yeah. What's her last name? Stewart. It's by Amy Stewart. Amy Stewart. That is correct. No, I didn't do it. It's fine. Sorry. So, other than that, I think that's it. No, we have oh. to show our haul. Yes. So excited. So, Denise, we got, she sent us some bags. Lovely bags, as oh. always. Dot, dot, goose designs. On Etsy. 
There she is. She has amazing bags. Uh -huh. Oh, she sent us a little card too. With <laughs> cat. <laughs> we love cats. A lot. I think it's more because she loves her cat. Not Miss Gracie. No. Okay. Okay. But she knows what I'm going to do. Go ahead. So for my epic storybook princesses, she got me this, made me this little bag here. It's got the princesses in there, animated form. And there's actually Cinderella thread stitching it all together. It's like, it's this really pretty pink color. But this fabric is sparkly. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yes, but there it is. I'm in love. So it lives in here when it's not on the hoop, which is like every day. So I'm gonna keep this dear to my heart. I love it. This, this one ended up being my bag. <laughs> It's beautiful. I love the starry fabric. It glows in the dark. No, it doesn't. That's what she said. Does it? Yes. Oh, I left it out to charge. Yeah, you did. So it was in a out. dark closet and he told me it glows in the dark. I went in the bathroom. I was like, it's not glowing. Should in we the turn dark. the lights off and see what happens? <laughs> no. <laughs> I kind of want to. Do you I think that would show up? Let's Probably do it. Let's try it. <gasps> yes! It does! <laughs> it glows! <laughs> oh my god! Y'all see that too, because I can see I it. I can see it. Oh my god, it glows so hard. Woo! That's pretty. Now we need to. I want one. <laughs> it did. Now I gotta find the light and not die. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so it glows in the dark. It's fact. <laughs> That's cool. Best haul um... ever. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all my projects in one bag. Oh my god! <laughs> I want it. it. didn't do it the last time. The last time I tried, we had it in the closet too long. He was told. He told me you got to leave it out and charge. Yeah. So I'm stupid, that and I nice. like held it at a light. <laughs> my eyes are still adjusting from that. That was hard. It was really dark. It's clearly nighttime when we're filming, <laughs> as usual. And uh, oh, I know y'all could see it because it showed up. <laughs> that was exciting. What yeah. else? That's it that's for, it. that's what we've done for two weeks. Literally. It. I feel like our energy increased. Do you feel like we started I mean, this video with low energy? It's the tea. <laughs> it gets it's not caffeinated it. though. Oh, placebo effect. Oh no, it is. I, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure there's something in this tea. It is caffeinated. I was going to do I a non-caffeinated. <laughs> um, other than that, so like we will record while we're away. Yeah, we will. We'll also, the seventeenth, he celebrates his half birthday. His half birthday is on St. Patrick's Can Day. Can you believe it's been six months already? That just flew by. Nobody was keeping up with your birthday. Just me and you. <laughs> Were we even doing this no. false two channel by it's your birthday? No. I'm, I'm just saying, so. like, it's been so. It's on very fast. <laughs> so they're probably like, I can't believe it, and didn't even know. <laughs> he turned thirty last year. <laughs> Twenty-five with five years of experience. Um, so that's it. I I have not finalized my plans for stitching in March. I was going to try and be a monogamous stitcher and just work on one piece. I don't know if I can do it. I was going to do I need kind of to March get it done. I want to work on months. I want to work on my Joan Elliott really bad. Uh, the fairy. Mm -hmm. yeah. She needs to see the light. She's going to come out, but I, I was going to work on her all of March, but I don't think I can do that. You can try. And Give her at least a week. Uh, well, I can do that, but I'm talking about I don't like, think I can do the whole month. Through. No. Can't do we do have any... That's it for stitching. Do we have any uh, Fortnite... Fa I need to put some lotion on my feet. <laughs> do we have any Fortnite fabric updates? Um, invoices went out um, today on the 1st. So you have to the fifth to pay those. Um, so you get your fabric for the month. Um, they are stinkhorn and daffodil. Yay. They're really pretty. We showed the um, the previews in the last video and they should be up on the web, on the page or Fortnite Fabrics Facebook page. So go on there if you're not registered and you have to the fifth to register as well if you want to get it for this month and we'll make it happen. Good at that game. So we'll have the fabric. It should go out by the 15th. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I don't think there's any other holidays we have to watch out for. So it will be good. Anything from you, Seth? Mm-mm. Well, I think we're done. And I'm so hungry. Quarter, we're going to Sheets. <laughs> <laughs> they have these like two for five, like fried foods that you probably should For those eat. of y'all that don't know what Sheets oh, yeah. is. It's like the equivalent of Wawa. It's like Wawa. 
Maybe, yeah. They're kind of They're similar where they have like their own kitchen but thing. There's another one. No. Nope. Streets has really good food. They make these wonderful quesaritos that I kid you not. I posted it on my Instagram. It was like this big and like that big around. It was real girthy. It was huge. And I finished it. <laughs> Other than that, I think that's it. Because my stomach is growling. Literally. I can feel it. <laughs> good night.